around August 11th of last year, I began a transformation, a morning, that morning, the 11th of August, I woke up and I was unable to get out of bed because I was transfixed with what was taking place within, within myself. I, I can only explain it like I was experiencing a, a download of some kind, a, um, a series of images of, I wouldn't call them thoughts, but a very powerful energy stream of consciousness was reverber reverberating within me. I simply can only describe it as a download that was, and from, you know, as I recall, a series of images that were also combined with sensations of knowing, of thought, of, of concepts that weren't merely words in, in my mind, you know, on recall, thinking of thoughts. These were, these were sensations, these were images, these were very powerful packets of knowledge, of, of, of vision, of changes, of, 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 it was very powerful. It was August 11th of 2021. It was since that, that time I've learned, you know, that it took place in what's called the Lion's Gate portal, which happens every August 8th through the 12th, where the star Sirius and and our sun and our galactic configuration alignment takes place and the portal without trying to get too woo woo on folks but um that morning august 11th 2021 was a significant day for me and that knowledge that sensation that awareness that gnosis began to work itself within me more powerfully each day began to integrate. I began to assimilate. I began to change, fundamentally change. And the culmination I distinctly recall was September 22nd, September 22nd. I'd have to check my note. I made note of it in my calendar, but September 22nd, the 23rd, where I experienced what at the time I didn't know what it was. Of course, I was able to piece it back together, but it can, it basically was a full Kundalini awakening um, with the whole experience of a, an unbelievable sensation of, of force just tearing through my middle pillar, my spine. It involved um, it involved quite a bit that day, but the culmination was um, being immobilized with my psychic vision, my third eye, my interior vision being filled with violet laser rays or whatever. I don't know how to describe it, but it was distinctly this like violet sort of laser flower. And, and I realized this is probably, you know, a bit much for some people, but this is what I experienced. There, there's a lot of information. There's a lot of literature. There's a whole tradition. There's a whole uh, practice of yoga do dedicated to this. It's, but after the fact, I was never, I was not the same person. And if I have a mission, if I have a reason for making videos is not to wear goofy hats or try to antagonize people with stuff I've read or I'm reading. I, 
I literally don't know what if Jesus was a Mason or who what or that the other. I just read stuff, but I know what I experienced. And that bit that I was able to experience changed me fundamentally. And that's the reason why I make these videos. It's not to um, toot my own horn or, or, or create any drama or sensation. It's what I feel I'm mandated in a way to do, compelled to do, to share primordial, this gnosis, this knowledge, this wisdom that flowered within my divine matrix. I mean, the meaning of the word gnosis is knowledge, but I'm just not referring to any sort of knowledge when I use this word gnosis. It's, it's the kind of knowledge, it's the kind of integral awareness that you would put your life on the line for. I mean, it's, it's, it's very, it's, it's the very fabric of my being. It's, it's, this gnosis is a very special knowledge. It is knowledge that causes a great transformation, as I mentioned, in those who receive it. The knowledge, it's a gnosis capable of nothing less than waking up and spiritually liberating the, the person who has acquired this knowledge, this I mean, that's its purpose once this happens, to throw light on the status of human beings and to try to wake up mankind and help, help others escape from this prison in which we find ourselves. I know I did. I know I escaped the prison that I was in at the time. That's the reason why this knowledge that I share, the tradition that's around it, the message that I try to bring, it's constantly, repeatedly under attack. The Gnostics, that esoteric facet of spiritual technology, repeatedly under attack throughout the course of history because it is, it's knowledge that's considered dangerous for the religious and political authorities who govern mankind from the shadow. As I said, I would, I would absolutely die for my knowledge in the defense of it, uh, there's nothing else. There's the digital matrix. None of this has any absolute power over me any longer. For that reason, I believe that gnosis, this knowledge, is, is always remained a cult, this hidden secret sort of knowledge. Yep, people don't want to listen, maybe perhaps to what I say. They're, they're more uh, amused by attacking what my message or what it is, the sincerity that I try to deliver, this gnosis. It, it's a secret knowledge, I guess, for a reason. It's only accessible to those who deserve to have it. I'm not saying that there, any of you are undeserving, but there are certain factors, there are certain perhaps conditions that build up to this flowering, this reception of gnosis of, of, of something like a kundalini experience but i guarantee you that there's a reason why different religions throughout history have tried to keep man ignorant of this knowledge this gnosis of this type of knowledge that is known and called gnosis primordial gnosis and i guarantee you if you hit that subscribe button and stay along with me on this journey perhaps you'll get just a glimpse this gnosis and you too will be compelled to escape the prison of your own mind and circumstance namaste namaskaram